guys, it's me again. Your winter garden update. Got our lettuce here. Going really well. We put in the bricks. I'm going to put some, uh, when it gets a little cooler, I'm going to reinforce it with cardboard there to uh, give it a little insulation value. But you can see, and in here, the window is going to go on top of there, guys. And so the next part of this is, um, you know, put some spinach in there. A lot of my neighbors over here, a lot of racket going on because we're all doing, we're all taking care of our yards. <laughs> see, mine's still messy. I'm working on more important things like a winter garden. So hang with me while I open this up and we start spreading those seeds in that open area there. We're going to get uh, about 50 to 70 millimeters of rain tonight and that's going to help germinate everything. So just hang tough. Oh, it's October 27th, by the way. In eastern Ontario, zone B, 5B. Okay, part of my masterful plan is I've opened up these uh, seeds and I'm going to just sprinkle them. I'm going to sprinkle them right out of here from way up above. Um, give it a little bit of a little space there. It's like broadcasting is what we're doing. This is called broadcast seeding. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the... Uh, my golly, I think I'm out of seed. I'm going to see if I got any more downstairs. But anyway, you got the idea of what's going on here. So I'm just broadcast seeding this, and it's going to rain tonight, and I'm going to leave this thing covered, obviously. And then we're going to go from 20 degrees to about maybe 8, maybe 5, 6 degrees Celsius. And uh, that won't hurt this at all, because uh, spinach, like this lettuce, can germinate at uh, 0 degrees Celsius. So what I'm going to go do is in, uh, maybe a little later on I'm gonna go and take and finish transplanting those two lettuces or if I find more spinach seed I'm gonna broadcast and uh, plant oh, there was another seed I'm gonna plant the spinach seed right beside this lettuce I might extend this bed a little longer because I think I have enough windows to do a little bit longer that way so I'm gonna go that way so this is running from north to south so the Sun's gonna come in from from there because it's gonna be low in the horizon it's going to hit the windows and hopefully warm it up in a little bit in there. And whether it does or not, doesn't really matter because once it does warm up enough, all this is going to start growing anyway. It won't kill anything. But I think it's kind of cool to have a little winter garden. So anyway, I'm going to let you go for now. This is the end of your winter garden update. And uh, we'll come back and visit this garden periodically through the winter and the fall to see how it's progressing. Okay, and I am going to look to see if I have more seeds I'm going to continue to broadcast and fix that up all right rob out for now uh and uh stick around we're going to do a winter garden series and i'm going to post it on my uh, arctic garden channel <coughs> which uh, it says on facebook actually and i'll let you take a look at that i'll leave you the links to that all right rob out